This was an HR CT of a 32-year-old male who presented with a long history of cough and shortness of breath. Now, as I browse through the images, you will start noticing that there are multiple nodules seen involving the both lobes. And as I browse downwards towards the hyla, so you see that there are multiple nodules and these are forming a more sort of a conglomerate lesions. And one thing which is a typical, more typical for these lesions is that they are following peribronchovascular pattern. These are the bronchi going on and if I show you these, these are just like in this case, it's just along the bronchus and extending up to the periphery. And in these regions, these are more conglomerate in appearance, whereas as I browse up, you can see that there are multiple nodules uh, sitting uh, in these regions, in upper lobe, in this area. And secondly, there is also uh, more uh, subplural uh, uh, nodules seen, as you can see in this area, this is subplural. And more, if I browse down, this is another part where there are more in subplural distribution. And secondly, now if I focus on this region, these are also involving the uh, interlobular septa, as you can observe in this regions, and there are nodules also seen within the septal areas. And these uh, present more like a perilymphatic uh, pattern of distribution. You can also observe that there are multiple enlarged lymph nodes also seen in this one in the right paratracheal region and also in the bilateral perihilar areas. And if I browse through the upper abdominal region, though this is not a good window to uh, view, but still you can see that there are lymph nodes in the epigastric region as well. So, see uh, the differentials. The differential for this distribution uh, could be sarcoidosis, which can form a conglomerate masses in perihilar regions, and then it can extend all the way through the uh, lymphatic distribution, uh, which this, these lesions are following. Other possibilities could include lymphangitic carcinomatosis, but obviously this patient didn't have any specific history of uh, known case of any uh, primary carcinoma. Another differential uh, can be seen in uh, patients with pneumoconiosis, but these there again, there is no such history. And this appearance would be rather atypical for lymphoproliferative diseases and lymphoma, and less likely they are going to present in such a atypical way, and also the history was pretty long, like four years of shortness of breath. The first differential which was given in this case is sarcoidosis. And however, obviously, we need some further testing, which we suggested uh, to the um, referring physician. So this concludes our case, and thanks a lot for listening.